Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today, now Google Play takes longer than Apple to approve apps. Okay, so I've been making apps for about seven years now. I got started in 2012, and I know a lot of you guys out there started much earlier. You got onto the app markets right when they were brand new, putting app, iOS apps out there, and then later Android apps. But for me, it took a while to get the courage up to actually do one, so I didn't get started until 2012, right? And then a couple years later, started doing uh, apps for clients. So over the course of the last seven years. I've done, I've submitted hundreds of apps to the App Store. Uh, a whole bunch of them were mine, a whole bunch of them were clients, but I had the process down, right? I, I it's just, it's, I'm, I'm submitting a new app at least once a week and it's just, I'm just used to it. I'm used to the whole process, right? And one of the things has always been constant over the years, which is Apple takes much longer than Google to go live. So, we would, uh, if we put an app out for a client and they had to get it done by a certain time, so like if it's an event, like a trade show, or I had one client who was gonna be on the radio and he wanted to promote it, so he says, we have to get it done by this certain time. And it's always been, we need to allow Apple to have 10 days. That was always what I said, 10 days to get them, So because it used to take them like 10 days. It used to take them like seven days, six or seven days, depending. And it was always took them forever. And Google Play was just quick. It was like two hours, like it would be live. Right. And over the years, Apple's gotten really good at it. Like I've had apps now that I've submitted to the Apple App Store that have been approved within the same day. I mean, I, they just gotten so much better at it. And Google, on the other hand, has completely gone the other way. So the last couple apps that we've released, Apple has approved it far before Google Google Play has, right? Google Play was, it was an algorithm. You didn't really have to worry about it, but I think they're, especially for newer apps, it goes to pending, uh, publication pending approval for a long time. So we have one application that is still pending developer, uh, still pending publication approval, which we submitted it to Google Play and Apple on the same day. Apple was submitted within two days and it took four days for Google Play to reject it. So they rejected it in the end because of a privacy policy thing. Apparently the client's privacy policy wasn't good enough. So we resubmitted it and that was several days ago. So we're talking almost a week without it going live on Google Play. And it, to me, it's almost like it's it's just so different to see the two of them swap like that. I think that Google's been under Google Play's been under a lot of pressure lately, the Android platform with all privacy and everything, that they're really starting to I mean the your target audience, the privacy policies, they're getting a lot more strict about it. And the reason I'm bringing this up is to tell you guys because like I've been apologizing to the clients all week about, look, it should be approved soon, it should be approved soon, and I'm trying to get onto Google support and you know how difficult that is, it's like not easy, right? But it's kind of this strange reversal of the way things are. Another thing that's happened over the years is it used to be that Apple on the, on the App Store, you had like really long titles, like you had 256 characters. So I was always like, put a whole bunch of keywords in there. Like just think about what people were searching on and the titles for on the, on the App Store would be really, really long. And Google Play had 30 characters. And then strangely, Google Play increased it to 50 and Apple decreased theirs down to 30 again. And it's just sort of strange the way these work. The app stores are changing all the time, right? It's, it's one of the reasons, one of the things I used to hate about getting a book on development was they never talked enough about deployment, right? You could go through all the things, you could build everything out. But when I actually talked about how do you get it onto the app stores, how do you get it onto Google Play, strangely silent about that. And I think it's because it's changing so much. So anyway, the point of this video was for those of you guys who do work with clients and you have to manage their expectations, they say, I need this to be live on Saturday. Do not release it on Friday or even Wednesday. Give yourself, I would say give yourself a week really. We're gonna have to change the way that we do things here. So anyway, my question to you is, what is the longest you've had to wait to get an app approved, both on Google Play and on the App Store? Because I'd be really interested to hear that. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.